<laughs> well, that's all from me, Billy Buck Chiefess, American Redneck Savant. It's time to introduce the next panelist. Now, where I come from, you don't see too many people flashing around and, you know, flashy shirts and gold necklaces, but my pappy taught me I ought to judge a man not by the color of his hideous fake orange spray tan, but by the content of his character. Please welcome semi-retired mafia goon turned cable TV news pundit Frankie Gold Chains. Hey, where's my freaking notes here? All right, at these prices, you know, I can't be asked to memorize everything. Hey, thank you. Billy Buck freaking Tifus. How you doing? Frankie Gold Chains here. Let me tell you something. This economic meltdown's got my freaking balls in a vice, I tell you. I used to make a good living whacking the crap out of people for money. I mean, back in the day, you could take down an easy grand just for busting some guy in the ribs. Once the stock market went in the toilet, though, forget about it. I mean, all month I've been running a two-for-one deal on kneecaps. Cost of materials is going up. You know, duct tape, lime, 30-gallon rubber-made trash barrels. I had to change to <laughs> aluminum bats, for Christ's sake. I hate that freaking sound. It's like, paint, paint. <laughs> Tell you, none of my associates is making any money either. Joey the Chainsaw and his partner, Three Fingers Campanelli, Jimmy the Wolverine, Freddy the, the Giraffe, Mikey the Monkey, they're all hurting. What I mean is, they're hurting financially, specifically because not hurting anybody physically. You want my advice? You gotta diversify the old portfolio. Fortunately, I made out pretty good in that Bernie Madoff Ponzi deal. I made Madoff an offer he couldn't refuse. I told him. I said, you screw me, you beat-faced little <laughs> son of a bitch. I swear, I will dismember your hands and your feet, use them to punch your face and kick your ass, then I'll waterboard you with your own blood, shoot you, decapitate you, and make a dog bowl out of your freaking skull. Long story short, old Bernie boy cashed me out about three weeks before his little Ponzi pyramid went kabloom. Still though, you ask me, my personal belief is that this guy deserves a class action beatdown. You know, stick a pillowcase over his frickin' head, then make good with some two by fours and five eighths rebuy. But hey, that's just me, Frankie Gold Chains, working class goon. Ooh, now if you'll excuse me, I gotta hustle down to Wall Street, pull a Michael Jackson, dangle some crybaby CEO out of a skyscraper window. I'm out of here. Where's Paige? Hey, Paige and read Paige! Anchor boy, make it, make it. Hey, you need uh, one more thing. Boy, you, uh, before I get out of here, if you need any work done, I think you know what I mean, just call 1-800-GOLD-CHAINS or visit us on the web at www.beatyourfreakingheadinwithanaluminumbat.com. Okay, see you. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Gold Chains. <laughs> this just in, more bad economic news. God has announced that he is planning to downsize planet Earth. <laughs> the omnipotent chief executive today un unveiled a plan to streamline his global operations by eliminating an estimated 60 million positions. The cuts will come primarily through war, poverty, and pestilence. But the Heavenly Father is also said to be planning a blockbuster slate of hurricanes, twisters, and tsunamis. The Creator-in-Chief cautioned that further human resource cuts will be needed unless humans stop wasting his natural resources and destroying his environment. God's Assistant Undersecretary for Human Affairs said the Almighty may also be planning a Category 5 locust infestation on Wall Street. And, eager to reap new revenue by selling corporate naming rights to national landmarks, Congress is considering a plan to rename both the Walmart Washington Monument and the Halliburton Arlington National Cemetery. Among the top economic trends for 2009, red is the new black, and trillion is the new billion. The chainsaw industry is cutting thousands of jobs, but on a positive note, the Kansas firm that is America's leading manufacturer of pink slips is said to be hiring. Of course, the economic chaos has also shaken the entire planet. Conditions are lousy in Laos and really bad in Chad. Investors are edgy in Egypt and fidgety in Fiji. The Swedes are in need and the Czech Republic no longer takes checks. 
the middle class is getting burned in Burma, squeezed in Belize, and fleeced in Greece. El Salvador is insolvent, and Panama is in the red. People are starving in Hungary. Yes, the geo-financial landscape is spinning out of control. Russia has bought up Bulgaria in a hostile takeover. Nepal and Mongolia are both now wholly owned subsidiaries of China. And this just in, three more African countries have just declared bankruptcy. They are Gambia, Zambia, and the Democratic Republic of Nirvana. The African Union has asked member nations to share resources, but Ghana isn't gonna, Botswana doesn't wanna, and Kenya just can't. And we have just learned that the financial pain in Spain is felt mainly in the plain. Thank you and good luck. John Brennan. Chris Elliott, everybody. And stay tuned for Larry Simon and the sequel of Star Stars for Hard Times. Thank you very much. You guys are great.